It's the video that you've all been waiting for, the MacBook Air 2015 review. Hey guys, it's Mel here with Techno Perspective reviewing the MacBook Air 2015 13 inch. Now, I would like to just say that this isn't just a standard version as I did upgrade it to 8GB RAM and I will explain later why I upgraded it to 8GB RAM. But here it is and I've been using it for a few weeks now and I've basically been using it every day. More than my Pro actually as my Pro has been used for other things and I just simply love it. Here you can see this is the Air and it's quite thin. It's got a full size keyboard despite its uh, thinness and size and lightweightness. And here you can see that it's actually similar to the MacBook Pro however the uh, travel on the keys aren't as far as my MacBook Pro. I'm not sure about how it is on the Retina MacBook Pros nowadays, but you can see that it's thinner and this is just quite sleek, I guess. And you, the keyboard is also illuminated with the LED backlit. And here you can see this is the top of the MacBook. Nice bezels as it's quite thin. And here's you have the HD webcam which is the FaceTime camera as well as the silver color at the top which is um, not on the MacBook Pro as you usually have black. Here you can listen out for um, the clicking and it's not forced touch. There you go. That was the clicking and that was not forced touch. Here we have the MacBook Air. Just I'm going to show you the touchpad. If you can see the MacBook and the MacBook Pro, the new ones, then you'll see they have force touch, which is not actual clicking. It's done by vibrations, but it'll sound like you're cl actually clicking. Here you can see how thin the MacBook actually is, and that's just amazing. It's power, yet yeah, it's that thin. And here is more of the MacBook Pro Air, rather and this is just the perfect laptop for school um some people have asked me whether to get the new macbook or the macbook air i would say macbook air because one it's more powerful as it has an i5 processor two it actually has a fan which is virtually silent anyways it actually is so that's not an appeal for on the macbook air and three it's also just more reliable and has more ports and you don't want to be carrying around a dongle to plug in your USB and things otherwise you'll get laughed at at school really and it doesn't make it that portable anyways. Here you have your MagSafe 2 port which I'm not used to as I used to have MagSafe 1 USB port, uh, headphone jack and dual microphone. Dual microphone was introduced a few years ago now and here on the other side you have a Thunderbolt port a USB port as well as a micro SD card uh, port. The reason I picked 13 inch was because of the micro SD, uh, micro, the SD card rather. Here I open up the MacBook and you'll see it's just quite good. It looks beautiful. It's got a 14, uh, 40 by 900 screen. However, as it is so light, it did lift up a bit when I opened the lid, which Apple need to kind of fix. Here you can see it's a 13 inch early 2015 model with 1.6 gigahertz i5. This is on the Broadwell processor, so it's an upgrade from the Haswell processor. You have your 8 gig RAM, it's at 1600 megahertz, so it didn't get the 1866 megahertz RAM that the MacBook Pro got, and it's got the uh, 128 gigabyte SSD. Here you can see it's running Intel HD Graphics 6000, which is better than 5000, and I'll show a gaming test later. Here's the uh, SSD and you can see I'm already filling it up quite quickly and that's why I bought a portable hard drive to go with it. Here you will be able to see this is Minecraft as I am doing a gaming test and you'll see the FPS counter in the top left. Right now it's at 58 FPS and now the lava is about to make the uh, TNT explode and you'll see how the FPS drops drastically and it's still at 58 fps and i think this is amazing considering it's not dedicated graphics but when it explodes right about now here we go you have lag 9 fps 3 fps 28 fps 33 fps now back to 57 and it just varies quite a lot which is a bit of a problem it's because you want constant 60 at least but then again it is intel graphics so you can't really ask for that much however this game is more than playable unless you just decide to go around and start destroying things the hyper threading on the 
Intel processor does also f work as uh, it also has turbo boost so if you need it then that will work. Here is Blackmagic speed test as I will be showing you the speed of the uh, SSD and first it starts off at 610 Mbps on the right and uh, 100, 1000 almost on the read and it will go up to 1200 around then on the read next so just right stays around 600 but then the read goes up even more and there you go that's a blazing fast 1300 and i believe my ssd is made my samsung if you have a, a samsung ssd instead of a uh, sand disk then it will be faster and there is ways to check that here uh, you can see the actual performance of Yosemite on the MacBook Air as it does come with Yosemite as that is the latest operating system when it released and it's just really rapid and this is why I wanted 8GB RAM because you do not get anything more less than 8GB RAM on a Mac trust me I bought a MacBook Pro with 4GB RAM and it felt slow it was slower than my Intel Celeron laptop from a few years ago because Macs use a lot of RAM and that is one thing. Safari alone uses 5 gig RAM on mine. I always have it on 7.5 gig of RAM at least when all I'm doing is Spotify, Skype and Safari and that's just amazing. So yeah, if you buy a Mac, get 8 gig RAM. Otherwise, just wait till you can. Here you'll see a speaker test. You can see that sounds quite alright. Overall what do I think of the MacBook Air? I think that it's a great product and that uh, it should be your, it can be a daily driver however I'd still pick a Pro Retina 13 at least if you can. But the MacBook Air is the perfect device for taking to college, uh, high school, whatever you want to call it in the US or even sick form in the UK and university and you can get this university discount on it if you go to university so it's even better people say Macs are overpriced well no think about what you get in a Mac in terms of design and stuff and then think about if you get that on a Windows laptop you don't just simply put it as that so I think that this is totally worth it however Apple do need to add force touch to it as they did on the MacBook and the MacBook Pro uh, I think that next time when this is uh, refreshed it will have more uh, drastic changes as literally Apple only talked about it for about 4 seconds on the uh, Spring Forward event and yeah that's it I guess. So if you did enjoy this video make sure to leave a like, comment below and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did then make sure to check out my other videos including my unboxing video of this product. And this is Bermel here with Techno Perspective reviewing the MacBook Air 2015 and I will see you in the next video. Peace.